King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark arrived in Norway on their 20th wedding anniversary. It was Queen Mary's first meeting with Haakon, and she also met Merit. The Danish queen looked flawless in an outfit with an important element. King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark are spending May 14 with distinction, celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. This is the first time they are doing so as monarchs, choosing to celebrate this important day in Norway while they work. Last week, they traveled to Sweden for their first international trip as king and queen and introduced themselves to the royal family. This time, they landed in Oslo to meet Prince Haakon, Merit, and King Harald and Queen Sonja of Norway. Mary of Denmark was as elegant as possible. Her image was both symbolic and elegant, reminiscent of her wedding to Frederick of Denmark. White was the color that Mary wore on special occasions such as her wedding, Frederick's proclamation as king, and on this special day. She wore a white jacket that elevated her image to the highest level, paired with a dress featuring flounces on the skirt in blue, a color synonymous with elegance. She also chose a print garment that added an original and rejuvenating touch to her first outfit in Oslo. To complement, Mary of Denmark carried a gray handbag and wore neutral-toned shoes that matched easily with her outfit. Her hairstyle included a headpiece, a common accessory for European queens on state visits to add glamour. She wore it with her hair tied up in a low bun to draw attention to the accessory. Merit from Norway also tied her hair in a low bun, a style she wore on her wedding day. She wore an original dress with a polo neckline, fitted at the waist, and a flounce skirt combining white and gray. She completed her look with a white pomela. For Hawkins consort, this event paved the way for her to become a queen consort in the future. Despite health problems, she found her reunion with Mary to be a moment of rebirth. Queen Sonia added color to her image as hostess. She chose an elegant coral-colored tunic dress with white embroidery and wore a beige, discreet, and elegant hat. Sonia remained by her husband King Harold's side, although they had to rely on their son and daughter-in-law due to the monarch's failing health, as evidenced by his recent hospitalization. Before arriving, Frederick and Mary of Denmark marked their 20th wedding anniversary with a gesture. The king and queen shared a photo on Instagram of the royal yacht they arrived on, smiling, relaxed, and casual. They celebrated the fact that two decades ago they tied the knot in Copenhagen, sharing their love and demonstrating their union's permanence. They will spend 48 hours in Oslo with the Norwegian royal family. In conclusion, King Frederick and Queen Mary of Denmark's visit to Norway on their 20th wedding anniversary symbolizes a significant personal milestone and underscores the deep connections between Scandinavian royal families. Queen Mary's outfit, particularly the symbolic white jacket, paid homage to her wedding day and her journey as a queen, showcasing her impeccable style and the importance of fashion in royal diplomacy. The meeting with the Norwegian royal family was marked by elegance, with each member displaying their unique sense of style, from Merit's original dress to Queen Sonia's colorful tunic dress, each outfit telling its own story of personal and national identity. The event highlighted the challenges and responsibilities of royal duties, seen in King Harold's health issues and the anticipation of Merit's future role. It also showcased the resilience, grace, and unity among royals as they navigate their public and private lives. The Danish royal couple's decision to share a candid photo of their arrival in Norway on Instagram illustrates the modern approach to monarchy, where personal moments are shared with the public to foster closeness and relatability. Overall, the visit celebrated King Frederick and Queen Mary's two decades of marriage, reinforced the significance of royal traditions, and emphasized the evolving role of the monarchy in contemporary society, bridging the past with the present and future.